When Master Evil comes to play And Mama says that it's okay Alex and Josh are stole away And made to watch these movies To stay alive Until the day they made us Oh, good. Finally, I got through. Yeah. Hello, prisoners. Hello. I finally Hello. got through to you. Oh, listen. boy. I've been having fun on this island. Look at what I've had to eat. Look at it. Thankfully, Mom and Mr. Flivel showed up. But we're staying here for a little while because we're having too much fun. Oh, boy. It's so wonderful to have you two back. I've been needing to torture somebody. And tonight, I have a wonderfully horrible film for you. And it's not... Gully's fall! <laughs> no! What I have for you is the horrible Wes Craven classic. Swamp Thing! The only good thing in this film is Adrian Barbeau's jugs. It is a horrible film with horrible tacky monsters and a giant plant romance story. Okay, you oh, know what? boy. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm okay with that because I, the other day, I didn't want you knowing this, Master Evil, but I kind of I kind of got out of my imprisonment and... Uh, I came across a newspaper, Alex, you don't even want to know what's going on out there. We're actually better off uh, in here with Swamp Thing or Ghoulies 4, <laughs> whatever you want to show. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Wait a minute, you, you actually got out? For a second, and I, I read a newspaper, said, fuck that shit, I'm out, and I'm, I'm here, I'm good, I'd rather be here. Well, I don't care if I'm in, I don't care if I'm out, it's fine. I'll watch this damn movie. I'll do what I have to. We've been able to avoid this guy for a while now, but we're back. I'll watch the movie, but the fucking rodeo clown has got to go, Master Evil. He's got to go. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the late night, him bu bugging me, saying we have to play one-on-one -on -one Twister. Uh, just all this weird stuff. I've had it. Uh, what? I, I thought we were friends, Alex. Okay, Alex. For now, I will let you get rid of the rodeo clown. I'm going to dispatch someone to get the rodeo clown and his barrel. And I'm also going to send them with a bigger lock for your door so there's no more escaping. I'm good. I'm staying here. I've never even got out to begin with. Why would you have to switch the lock out when the other lock is just fine for me? That's overkill. Oh, because I'm Master evil. evil. What do you expect? You know, I, and I'm a little pissed wait, off. I've had to eat days for the, all this is that stuff. Your, is, that your, is, it, is, it, is that your mother there? Do I hear her? What? Oh, oh hey, Mother Evil. Oh, honey. You need to stop making the FedEx men walk the plank, or else you're going to need to hide these bodies on your own. Oh, Mop, come on. I can, sure. you know, you can clean them up. Okay, can we? What? Can what? We just, they're, they're, they're killing people. How are you going to clean up the dead bodies? Why do they have oh, to clean them? We'll find a way. 
But Josh, why do they have to clean up the dead bodies when the bo when they're walking the plank? They're going in the water anyway. What does it matter? Are y'all on water or just in an old... You know what? How about me and Alex just watch the movie so the quicker we get it done, the quicker he can get rid of the rodeo clown. Okay, well, that sounds great. Okay. It also is the quicker they can get rid of those bodies, I guess. I don't know what's yeah. going on over yeah, there. Yeah, that went dark. Okay. Really That's good. <laughs> He's, lost <laughs> He's lost his mind. Okay. We now open the vault. Open the vault. We actually get a new film studio on this one. Like the other ones are fake. Oh man, United Artists. Are we watching Rocky? <laughs> United Artists. I would see the United Artists as a kid and just get stoked because I thought every United Artists movie was Rocky. Not long ago in the unexplained reaches of an unmapped swamp. Two guys were forced to watch a shitty monster movie from the early 80s. I guess they thought people were going to take forever to read that. Okay. They should oh, have had more. It, they should have had it scroll across the screen like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Too powerful to be destroyed. Too shitty to be watched. A Meloniker Uslan production. Oh, why'd they use the same font? Damn. It's the same font as the as the description. Why? Okay, well, that looks like a band logo from the 80s, but why <laughs> Why does the font look like 80s situational comedy, like, sitcom lettering? <laughs> Sometimes font. you want to go. Exactly. Alan Th is Alan Thicke in this movie? Here comes, here comes Bob Saget. Bob Saget wishes he was in Swamp Thing. I'm waiting for Anne, Mary, Kate, and Ashley Olsen. So, you think they're just in a canoe or the way How the damn camera's rocking? I don't know if they could afford a canoe. They're probably in one of those <laughs> blow-up rafts from Kmart. Shaped like an alligator? <laughs> they're, on a, they're on a pool floaty. <laughs> one of the <laughs> pelicans that you blow up. Or the crocodile. This reminds me of the Troll 2 opening for some reason. This reminds me of, like, the opening shot to, like, a MacGyver episode. Or to, like, a Magnum P.I. episode. I Man, swear, Wes any... I'll oh, go ahead. No, Wes Craven wrote, produced, and directed this film. He did everything. I'm surprised he didn't Alan Smithy this one. Uh, hey, back whenever she was good looking. This is a round I'm... creep show. I've got nowhere to talk. I've got nowhere to talk. I know I'm not the best looking person. But she did not age well. That's all there is to it. Why, um, why is this helicopter pilot not paying attention to the sky? I understand that there's not probably a lot of air traffic at this point above this swamp, but can he keep his eyes on the what he's doing here? Well, whenever the, you see him in there, it's like Carnosaur 2. They're just like two feet off the ground. So, you know, they're just hovering I, there. I don't know. Is this swamp thing right here? Is this him? <laughs> it's Rocky, man. <clears throat> no, that's one of the guys playing paintball and Jason lives. So wait, these guys were just all hiding behind trees waiting for a signal? They haven't had a hot girl fly over their swamp in years. They all strategically positioned themselves to be ready for when she lands. This is the end of Harry and the Hendersons. Hey, it's the yeah, same the shot from before. The exact same shot. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't know that, that uh, Swamp Thing and Harry and the Hendersons was supposed to have a crossover film? Swamp Thing and the Hendersons? Oh, okay. See, I, I would have paid to see that. Never got greenlit, though. John Lithgow kind of stonewalled the production. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a dick. <laughs> you know, I really hate how pre-1980 
2010 uh, superhero movies just like took a rough idea of the character and made a movie like just like on the limited knowledge the person might have of the superhero uh, they're all like we had what in superman it was like lex luther zod and lex luther richard pryor and then lex luther <laughs> richard and a made up guy that and cover for Superman 3, where, like, on the VHS cover, where Superman's carrying Richard Pryor. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Even as a child, we, I knew it looked like crap. And then we got a made-up villain with Lex Luthor in Part 4. And then they made Superman Returns, and what do they do? Lex Luthor again. It's like, I don't know. The, the Spider-Man movies are a lot like that. They spun off Sunman, the, the nuclear guy, and they put him in uh, Ghoulies. Yeah. Yeah, Ghoulies. Him and his son. Yeah, he, he got his own spinoff. This guy right here didn't get the memo that they're actually playing paintball. He brought an actual revolver. It's Don Lambeau. Accountant by day, mercenary by evening. Accountant by night as well. Now's not the time to run when they have the drop on you with a machete and handguns and other weapons. If I go this way, I'll get away. Dude, they've Why all the got, like, guns. Josh, he's trying to get away from them like Frankenstein would try to get away. Did you see those big old steps? We caught Swamp... Yes, that's... <laughs> Fire bad. Yeah, <laughs> I need to get away from these villagers. If the snake bites you and you do not die, you are the Swamp Thing. Oh, he, he just got a snake on his dick. Snake, that's the. <laughs> he Where pulled he it out of his s- pocket. I swear, he pulled that well, snake they... out of his pocket. Is that he put? Is that a snake in your pocket? Or are you happy to see me? Oh, it's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Adrienne Barbeau, her hair is naturally curly like that, or does she get a perm? I think she was just born that way. I always mistaked her for Joni from Joni Loves Chachi. Oh. A hundred percent looks like Aaron Chase. It wasn't that her name. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, or something Chachi. Chase. I can't or remember. Joni. <laughs> she passed away like five or six years ago in a trailer park. Oh, that's sad. I yeah, heard something she, about that. Yeah, she kind of really went downhill. I love how all these people are dressed, prepared for the swamp. I know, that guy looks like he's got to get a deadline for the Daily Bugle done <laughs> before the end of the day. And he's out here in the Lois, Everglades. Lois is like, you've got to take down that piece about Superman possibly being evil. Listen to me, Mr. White. Okay, they have bunk beds in the swamp cabin. <laughs> it's, 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 the, right. it's the love shack, baby. She's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough with the business. Let's get down to the serious stuff. Who gets the top buck? <laughs> so here's where we watch everybody using the bathroom. <laughs> wow, he's getting taking his clothes off. This is a hell of a... What the hell is all that stuff? Oh, it's a microwave. <laughs> it's, it's, a, not, it's the back computer. Yeah, he's going to print it up right now. <laughs> it's going to have some... Like a... Uh, a fortune cookie <laughs> thing pop out with a clue. So wait, a group of men ta- attacked a guy, pulled a snake out of the pocket, made it bite his cheek, and then let him wander away until he died. Yeah, These evil. The evil villains in this have uh, some very convoluted plans. But hey, I think they just Matt. fly by the seat of their pants at mo- at most times. <laughs> fly. I by the seat of their khakis and their dress pants. <laughs> he is. Who said that? That was you, sir. You said he is. Okay. Who said that? This guy talking to the newsroom editor guy here looks like a record producer from the 70s. He looks like Phil Spector a little bit. <laughs> Now, if we're going to have a serious swamp number one top hit out here, guys, you're going to have to listen to me. It was programmed to be a prince this morning. 
Oh, program to your prints this morning, okay. So this is where we're going to print the paper. I'm surprised that they didn't program that to Adrian Barbo's bust. Now stick your bosoms in there, and it'll read your breasts, and the door <laughs> will open. You know, any excuse. It'll read your to, breasts, too. Yeah, any excuse to show her boobies. You know? Yes, you. This is what the internet actually looked like before uh, 5G. This is the internet headquarters right here. The, yeah, this is the internet. Right, She's at the internet. Sorry, sorry. I'm a dad. I can do that. You dropped a cooter sticker? Well, it is warm and swampy there, so I guess you dropped it in the right spot. <laughs> well, I don't normally put my hands in a Cooper's Digger on a first date, but... Hey, it's, it's a, it was a literal drowned rat. Yeah. <laughs> You're a regular stand-up comic. You're a regular Joni. New kid on the block. Ah, She's like 40 yeah. years old. <laughs> the hell block is this? <laughs> New kid on the block, man. Wahlberg sure did look different in the early 80s. No doubt. And that, that this important si swamp scientist is wearing the classic gray, dirty-ass sweater underneath his lab jacket, lab coat. What's, what's up with this shitty uh, portrait uh, shit in the background? You know, the stuff they pull down for you to take a picture in front of? You know, they put a couple of fake trees there, pull down a screen, makes it look like, like a prom. swamp backdrop or something. <laughs> like, it, like a high school production of a, like a, you know, like a play or something. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I remember We're being do in the plays. Sciencey stuff. I remember being in plays in high school, and you'd be on the multi-purpose, you know, room stage, and they'd only have the one backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> so every scene is in the same exact location. You got to just get out here, open your arms, and just let the swamp in. It smells delectable. So she's she hates paraplegics. Okay, asshole. Kamala, the Uganda giant's like, because he had diabetes and he lost <laughs> his legs. Uh, yeah. Anyway, all right. Too soon. He's dead now. And now he's vice. Rest in peace. Was and that Jim Harris? Was that like a? That was a hell of a transition. I can do that with, with my editing equipment. Yeah, where's the boat at? How much is a fair amount of quicksand, by the way? What's an unfair amount of quicksand? You know, growing up in the 80s, Josh, I with as many movies and TV shows that I saw that had quicksand, I thought that I would have encountered quicksand in real life at least once by now. I stepped in some like really, really uh, soft sand, like it was like almost like clay one time, and I sunk down like my ankles, and I started freaking out because I couldn't get my foot out because yeah. of the suction, and I thought I was in quicksand. Started cr screaming and crying for help, you know. Anyways, that was a couple what of weeks ago. <laughs> what happened? Huh? What happened? You get out or what? They pulled me out of it. it, was, it yeah, I just went up to my ankles. It, I just sunk down in it, and it, it, the suction held my foot down, so I thought I was sinking, uh, and I like I was really terrified, freaking out. Screamed for help, cried. And then Beth was like, hurry up, Josh. Get out of there. you got to film Slash Tracks with Alex tonight. <laughs> they just opened a, time, a swamp time capsule. Uh, something senior left out there. 
He didn't even tie that. They didn't have a huge budget for this movie, but it seems like they filmed in the same spot like four or five times so far. This is actually where they went on to film Salute Your Shorts later on in years. Donkey Lips uh, is actually. Yeah. Donkey Lips is actually going to play Swamp Thing. Other than me being in that little hut over there waiting for you to show up and come out. Well, that sounds like you didn't do your job correctly. You're supposed to be guarding the guy, but you didn't even know that the, the woman there took him out for a ride. Ooh, I like motorcycles. It's going to be a long ride to Washington, though. She's like, well, good, because I've been bitching about how I don't like swamps for the first 14 minutes of this film. <laughs> Send me back to Washington. Don't threaten me with a good time. I always apply for jobs that I know I'm going to hate. Yeah, what's the yeah? The benefits and pay must have been fantastic for her to take this job in a location she absolutely hates. I'm sorry that I took you out on the boat without permission and letting our superiors know. I just really, really, really wanted to have sex with you. <laughs> this is Cable's backstory years before he uh, went on to fight uh, Deadpool. So they all got guns, and then they're wondering what that gunshot noise was. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the internet. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I was doing a family portrait. It just turned four turtles into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> She's all, remember this new batch of, uh, what is it called? Uh, antifreeze you wanted me to cook <laughs> uh, Yeah. You think that's incredible? This one guy drank it and he wouldn't freeze. He looked like Hulk Hogan. I want to get banged. I can end with a bang. Or explosive diarrhea from eating all the plants. Why does he need to have a notebook when he's in the internet? He could just, you know, create a note on the, the home screen over There's, there where, you yeah, know, the Jeeves backdrop. Is, they even have Jeeves there somewhere to ask. That's right there. That's the beta version of Winamp. Right there. <laughs> it whips the llama's ass. Check out this new game I got here. It's E.T. It's supposed to be the best <laughs> game ever. Hey, look at this. It's called LimeWire. <laughs> <laughs> we can download all these songs. Just not Metallica. Not Metallica. Yeah. You're going to see this is what's going to happen, Adrian. On LimeWire, you're going to download a full album and it's going to take a full day. And you're going to think it's the new Blink 182 album, but it's actually, uh, it's, it's actually a bootlegged French version of, a, of an artistic foreign film. Audio only. <laughs> or a watermelon that could fetch a stick. You know, it was really good of Dave Coulier to lend uh, part of his wardrobe from Full House to Adrian for this film. Hey, Fiona yeah. Apple, man. Did you see Fiona Apple's Fiona Apple's cameo there? No, you know, she, the Fiona Apple didn't show up on the. She, first of all, I'm getting tongue tied here. She would only be in a bathtub that's with clean water, not swamp water. Josh. Well, then who was that? Then they were super skinny. What the hell happened to Fiona Apple? She like was huge, absolutely huge for like a year, and then that was it. <laughs> She was a bad, bad girl. She was, uh... Yeah. <laughs> she did a bad, bad thing. She was, uh... She did something really bad to a delicate man. <laughs> you know how I made that joke about the opening scene with the helicopter look like, uh... 
at Magnum PI. Yeah. She's wearing Magnum shirts. <laughs> she sure is. She sure is. Or is the shirt wearing her, Josh? They're just trying to be close to something else there. Zoom in. Zoom in. I but, you know, sometimes you hurt a man just because you can. So... He used to throw me Bunsen burner. Is that like a way of saying he used to throw me a little? That was uh, the very first floppy disk right there. Because we are in the computer of the internet here. And that red funnel back there, that's their shower. That the trough of green stuff is where they piss. <laughs> they shouldn't keep the piss troughs so close to the shower. Its leaves are never changing. A oh, Christmas tree. I know. It looks like uh, the fake Christmas tree branches. Yes. We found the Christmas tree in the storage in the back. What? If I, had, if I wasn't here for the opening screen, I'd have no idea this was a Swamp Thing movie. I'd be like, what the fuck is this? Hold on one second. They just they just met. She is a dirty, the, dirty whore. This is nightfall of the first night. Well, she is the new kid on the block. She doesn't know that she should be making out with a scientist yet. Hey, she's got the right stuff, man. She's got the right stuff. I can't make any more puns because that's the only song I remember of the new kids. Oh, great. Here comes another military guy from one of these movies. Looks completely out of shape and has an improper haircut. There's no water in that water uh, back there, by the way. Oh, time to watch some people in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, it starts beeping and glowing really fast when there's someone taking a dump. Ooh, penetration. It said penetration. What the oh. hell are they watching on these screens? <laughs> this movie just took a turn. Just such up-to-date, state-of-the-art technology in this film. Wait, was that was that beeping his heart monitor? Because as soon as he died, the beeping stopped. Chachi, save her! Oh my god, if people got knocked out as easy as they do in movies and TV... Yeah, with like glass beer bottles breaking over their head, they just yeah. She starts making out with him, just some random soldier guy. Dude, she just murdered that guy. She just murdered that guy and made out with the dude on the first night. She is not the model here heroine here. Did he just karate chop the shit out of her? And <laughs> Judo, her chop. <laughs> Judo chop! Judo <laughs> chop! Karate chopped her ass, man. <laughs> that, that guy must have kung fu grip as well, because that was excellent. Or your knees. We can work this out another way. We've heard about your Christmas tree branch operation. It's a full success. We need those branches so we can put them on our helmets <laughs> for more camouflage. To blend in behind trees all day. I want another Rambo sequel. United Artists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, okay, fine. Don't break any more of my replaceable uh, Bunsen burners and stuff. You can have whatever you want. <laughs> oh, is this guy, this guy turning on him? That's not a scientist. This is a scientist. Who are you? It's Nicolas Cage the whole time. Well, let's just see who you really are, mister. Old Man Smithers from the Swamp. <laughs> and I would have got away with it, too, if it wasn't for Adrian Barbeau and those big old breasts. <laughs> and that snake in his pocket.
The internet is mine now, see? We give it to Al Gore, see? <laughs> he wants to know where the internet is, but he doesn't know he's actually standing in the internet. We're just going to see, see? Be careful with, the, with be careful with that antifreeze. You don't want to overfill the fill line on the excess reservoir. Do not Wait, go above the she, line. The Joker just shot Barbara Gordon in the back. We're seeing history in the making here. Why do those dudes still have like the trees and shit on their hats and shit at night? You know. Well, Josh, when you're in the military and you're trying to take over the internet, it's always best to just go full on camo at all points yeah. of your operation. Bam, pow. Uh oh. He didn't want it to end with a bang, but sometimes it's just unavoidable. Oh, great. Here comes another one of those freaking horror movie actual live burn things where he's going to hit the ground. I guarantee it. Watch. He's going to hit the ground and then they'll cut and they're going to put him out. Watch. It's coming sometime. Yeah, this is a long active burn, though. You just witnessed the first ever Burning Man. That, my, Josh, that was actually very impressive. That was. That was like one take. That's very That was impressive. great. Don't tell Master Evil that I actually like something in this film. He had bottle rockets in his pocket, so. Uh, his diaries and his mother's cookbook. Those aren't bottle rockets, Josh. He had a thing of uh, Pop Rocks in his back pocket. Okay. And that is a <laughs> swamp of Coca-Cola. <laughs> Diet Coke, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's Mentos, he, isn't it? He's going to die from the Pop Rocks and Soda Pop swamp. That's a lot of explosions going on in that water. <laughs> Wes Craven's like, more, more, <laughs> more. Is that enough? No, no. It's good shit. Keep it coming. Sounds like Anna Ferris and Just Friends when she's like, more, more, more. Did they, like, put, like, a camera inside of a dump truck thing, you know? Like, no, they put, they put a camera in front of a... A hungry, hungry hippo's mouth. <laughs> I swear he said get the lid out instead of the let out. Do as I say, not as I do, as I stroll gingerly back to the internet. So, uh, we are uh, going to get the swamp thing now, huh? Yeah. I can't there do John no, Rambo, I'm sorry. There is no swamp thing yet. What are you talking about? I was trying to, I was trying to do a Rambo voice for him, but I just can't do it. Adrian. We're 30 minutes in to an hour and a half movie about called Swamp Thing, and we haven't actually seen Swamp Thing. What about Troll 2? There wasn't one troll in the entire movie. Wow. <laughs> Carnosaur, Carnosaur 3, uh, we didn't actually see a primal species for like 40 minutes. Ghostbusters 2016, we didn't see a Ghostbuster the whole movie. Yeah, I, yo, wow. Oh, oh, oh. You went there. That I one guy, hey, that one guy who hated us in the YouTube <laughs> comments is going to catch wind of that one, Josh. We, we weren't even that nice to him. We just said there was a couple cool parts and that uh, Kate McKinnon was badass in the scene. And he's yeah. like... <laughs> he, he wasn't happy, nice man. Them. <laughs> just go make out with the dude. He'll let you live. The Swamp Thing book was bound in human flesh and writ written in human blood. Hey, boss. The hey, boss. Alex, uh, General Alex. Since that, since we've captured everybody and killed the people that we were after and stole everything, can we quit wearing these hats with the trees and limbs and branches all over them? <laughs> this guy um, has been Josh. This dude with the red bandana, who's apparently in charge, the Stallone ripoff. Has been smoking a cigar the entire film. Oh, yeah. His cardio has just got to be absolute shit. General Vanover. 
requesting your permission to remove the hats with uh, leaves and branches and stuff on them since we're not incognito anymore. <laughs> Judo Is there a reason we're still wearing them? Swamp Thing villain with karate chop action. <laughs> She's standing in the water. She was standing up. That water is like three feet deep. Oh, that's going to be disgusting. Why do they always let go? It's, it's not very efficient. Efficient. <laughs> efficient. Oh, wow. I made, a, I made a water pun there. She farted real quick. <laughs> Meanwhile, under the water, her hair is still perfectly full of life and volume. Aquaman would have came and rescued her, but he was busy talking to some fish. Whoa! It's the swamp thing. <laughs> what was that roar? His Dude. cow is not even... These are all ancestors or descendants of uh, stormtroopers. Well, we shot a bunch and I don't see them anymore. That means they're dead, right? And get your hat on with the leaves and branches. I would love to see these guys take on the predator. <laughs> oh my god. Like hey, send in that grew boots. Sending this squad versus the Predator from 87. <laughs> oh, I can't see her. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? She's got a branch over top of her. There's no way you can see her. I can't see a thing. Uh, did he per Did he do any, like, CPR or any, like, life-saving procedures? No. Or did he just carry her? Just carry her. Here's busted ass Charles Bronson. Wait. Hey, why is that branch coughing? <laughs> <laughs> That's yes, a branch, but it's coughing. How, how could a branch cough? I don't know where these soldiers would be without their hats covered in leaves. I can't absolutely. get past that. They'd be made. They'd be absolutely caught. I should have known we were watching Swamp Thing whenever I logged on and there was like a giant Swamp Thing behind me. <laughs> yeah, you should have known the movie that we were actually going to watch before Master Evil told us. Yeah. That's crazy that you didn't notice. That's such a coincidence. It's unreal. It is. Oh, you should have stayed under the branch. You she's, been, actually you trying to, she's actually trying to pee in peace. Which way did she go, George? Which way did she go? Did she go that way? No, 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 no. One time, Josh, I worked in the woods on a spraying uh, truck one summer. Like, they were spraying for invasive weeds. And these two guys I worked with just refused to let anybody go to the bathroom without being messed with. So the way she was kind of hiding behind that tree was like how I was the entire month. I had to hold, I had to hold my urine and, and everything because if I went anywhere, they'd start throwing rocks at me. They'd be screwing with me oh every God. time. That was their fun. If you had just like carried a, a branch with you, they would have never seen you. Never. They would have been like, why is that branch taking a dump? How does that guy foot. even know who he's talking to? That guy has a branch on his head. You can't even see him. I know. I want to. I, I want to be there when they were getting fitted for their uniforms. You know. Oh, that's cute that you say they were fitted. They they went to the back lot and found whatever they had and put it on. They didn't spend any extra money for this film. Yeah, but who decided how many leaves was enough for the hat? And why just the hat? Why not cover the whole body in branches and vines and leaves? I don't know. 
But that chair looks comfortable as hell, Josh. I'll sleep when I'm tired. <laughs> Who's going to sit in this chair and look evil? <laughs> Not to mention I have to give away my entire evil plan to the audience watching at home. Because this is normal chatter around here. Normal conversations. Mmm, Swampy. So he wants to become like Swamp Thing, though, is what he's saying here. This guy is the type of guy who comes into a restaurant and immediately has an issue with something he's ordered before he's even received it. Mm-hmm. I would hate waiting on that guy. <laughs> Look at him. I'm not paying full price for this meal. Sorry, you had a little bit of me on your chin. I wonder if when he does have an orgasm, if the sperm come out with big old glasses on. <laughs> With their legs crossed, with their hair parted, just so. That means uh, seven. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Before eight comes seven. What's in the box? Seven. Josh, this uh -oh. is the Bat Cave. Did you see those busts back there? Those you you, put, you press down on one of those heads, and then the Bat Cave opens. The guy in the front almost fell on his ass. Did you see him almost slip? Like you want to get cluts? Let's get cluts. Some kind of swamp thing. <laughs> and if I hadn't had this hat on with the leaves. If I didn't have this hat with the leaves on, we'd be dead men for sure. Dude, we didn't let her get away. She had a branch covering her. It was too late by the time we noticed. How is she even alive right now? She got judo chopped twice. <laughs> and why the fuck is this? What is this payphone doing out in the middle of the swamp? Is that in case Superman needs a quick change when he's going up against Swamp Thing or something? She didn't even let the operator pick up. She realized she's never used a phone before. Were you in a plane crash? Because that's what that's that's the first thing I would go to if somebody came walking out of the woods. That they were in a plane crash makes makes perfect sense. Maybe he's been asking that of everybody that comes there all the time, and he's just waiting for that one day when somebody had. Oh, great. The penny candy jar. That looks like some shit in that jar, too. What part of hurry don't you understand? I'm going to ask her again if she was in a plane crash. I don't know if I believe her. His car phone looks like the phone that we had in my kitchen growing up in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the phone. That, that's, Josh, that phone is not attached to that car. That is just a, that is a phone that would be at a landline back in the 80s, and they just put it off screen. Yes. yes. That is not attached to anything. He's listening to nothing right now. Okay. Here's, so he's the villain pretending to be her, her superior right there. He can just do the voice, but he's actually acting and showing emotion like he's really concerned for her and as if she's seeing his actions, you know? He's, he's invested. He's invested in the charade. Okay, he said turn around, not kill me while you're turning around. You find a place up ahead to turn around. This is unnecessary. OJ took the back road. Jeez, he almost nailed his boss in the front there. Well, if, if it had been her, she would have nailed her boss by now. Oh, absolutely. She was already making out with the dude in the first day. 
Man, I'd be eating some of those pies, those fruit pies in the back there. Hey, Jude. Hey, Jude. Thanks for the Coke. With the giant Pepsi sign behind him. Hey, I kid you not today, Josh. Someone ordered. Two guys came in. One guy asked what we had to drink. I said Pepsi products. Guy says, I'll take a Pepsi. I ask his friend what he wants. He says he'll take a Coke. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Why does I that little boy look like he just murdered the family that runs the gas station? Because he did. Okay, okay. That's why it, it builds up a thirst. Uh, you know, enough to where you go to a restaurant and uh, order Coke when all they have is Pepsi. The kid's hiding and he has no idea why they're even hiding. Right. He, he thinks they're there for him for murdering the shop owners. She machine gunned one of their colleagues, by the way. You took the words so right guy, out of his mouth. This dude's the comic relief, obviously. I, I, my family, what the hell was that? What kind of jump cut was that? <laughs> Yeah, what what the hell was that? Like, she needs to know. check the barrel, man. Damn it, Janet. He needs to shut that door. He's making me nervous. She was trying to squat, pop a squat again. They just won't let her. This is the worst first day on the job ever. Yeah, I think, I think the reason Return to Swamp thing got made is people were like, there wasn't enough shitty rubber monster suits in this one. This should just be called Barbeau thing. This, this score is made by Harry Manfredini, and I hear a lot of Friday the 13th in this yeah. score. A lot like of great right people here. made this movie. Definitely. Yeah, run down the road. There's there's a good plan to get away from the car. Maybe oh, I should no, go back water. to the, anything but water. Maybe I should go back to the swamp where that supernatural, uh, superhuman strength swamp thing saved my ass. My only my only weakness, water. He's wearing a rubber suit. Stop it. Swamp thing smash! That that top of the car went flying in the air. Oh, he's got he's got Tim Burton Batman uh, Michael Keaton syndrome. You see him have to turn around like that. He can't move his neck. Um. So who wins in a fight, Josh? Swamp thing or swamp gut? Swamp gut. Yeah. Absolutely. Monster Brawl 2, it's coming. <laughs> Actually get book swamp thing for it. Don't be afraid. It's only latex. I'm all latex, actually. So is he... Is he the guy that kissed her? In the, was he the, yes. the scientist? Yes. Yes. So, so they're in love. What, what, what the? What? Oh, oh, he probably had a branch. This, listen, I'm not, I'm not, listen, I believe a swamp monster could exist. I believe that the guys with tree branches are invisible. 
But that kid is not seeing anything behind those glasses. That kid is blind as a bat. That has taken me completely out of the movie. Look at the size of those, those lenses. He got contacts eventually and gave those to a nice kid named Bubbles at the Sunnyvale Trailer Park. Yeah, how thick are his contact lenses? <laughs> oh, who are you? Sorry, I didn't recognize you without your leaves on your head. <laughs> who are who are you and what the hell are you doing in my mansion? He's walking down these stairs like he's Jerry Dandridge in Fright Night. <laughs> or or he's trying to hold something in. Came out of me as well as I was coming down the stairs there. Couldn't clinch hard enough. He is smoking a slim. Like a long, slim cigarette. He doesn't even look human. Looks like a robot, the way he moves and talks. He's built like the guy who was in the tar man suit. <laughs> right? He is long and lean and tall. <gasps> he said it! He said it! He said it! Bring him to my ch chambers. I mean, capture him. I'm starting to think this guy learned just enough English to say his lines for the movie. I would, you know, this guy's been shown in this chair like three times throughout the movie. I would love to see what happens if someone else tried to sit in his chair. Would he be that guy, like Sheldon <laughs> on The Big Bang Theory? Right. That's Probably. my spot. Oh, he had to go to the bathroom, too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the mating call of the swamp thing. What was the purpose of that scene? <laughs> He's just horny. <laughs> <laughs> So has she eaten? Like all she's had yeah, is a coat. He's, he's a crypt. He's a crypt. Is that bad? That's bad. that tank top he's wearing is, is the exact tank top that William the Refrigerator Perry wore on his GI Joe figure. Oh my God! You're right. I am right. Here comes Sergeant Slaughter. I murdered him in his sleep. Who the hell is watching the store while he's out rowing, rowing around Adrian Barbeau? No, who's going to sit there and drink all the Coca-Colas and ask people if they're in plane crashes? Yeah, who that, who's, taking, who's watching the shop? We don't Wait, who's screaming things, now? Who? Yeah, we know, we know Swamp Thing's not watching the shop. He's out there screaming in the mating call. Well, there's no female Swamp Thing. These birds will have to do. <laughs> Burning down the house. <clears throat> Swamp Thing didn't start the fire. It was always burning since he's been yelling. It looks like the suit was made for a different actor. <clears throat> oh no. Like they replaced the guy who was going to play Swamp Thing mid, yeah, uh, you know, like, mid filming. It's, it's way too big for this actor. They uh they see they CJ grammed him. They they re they replaced the original Jason Voorhees. Rub harder. Oh, oh come on, that guy Josh. She's like, listen, I've been judo chopped twice, Jude. I'm fine. I'm a tough bitch. Look at all the wrinkles in the suit whenever he like bends down and stuff. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I, when I, I saw his legs, like, were flexing, you could see the, like, layer. Turns out he's actually normal. All he's got to do is peel off the shit that's, like, on top of his skin. 
Wait, wait, you were kissing Barbo though. I just saw his fingernail move. I saw his fingernail move, Josh. Like the rubber. <laughs> yes. See, I think they I think somebody else was supposed to be in the suits. Dude, they could that was ridiculous. It was made of the same exact material as the rest of the suit, the fingernails, which is supposed to be hard. He's got some <laughs> ultimate warrior veins though on his arms though. Check that out. He's making he's mixing up a green gator. If the that amount made me swamp thing, this amount will make me super swamp thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bounce, 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 bounce. She was wearing a bra earlier. <laughs> Book it. Get it? Get it? Book it? Not they're gonna see. wait. Washington they're going back State. to. How are they getting back to Washington? Is she gonna row their ass all the way there? Yeah. Not Washington D.C. Washington State. Oh, you little book thief! You <laughs> swamp thing, snapper. Swamp thing, horny and sad. Oh, it's Michael Jackson playing the part of Swamp Thing. The nose? Yes. Take a little more. I'm surprised off. Pepsi was part of the sponsorship here. <laughs> I can make a hat out of this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's he thinking right now? He's, he's thinking about something. He's going to give these flowers to her, probably. This tree's looking good. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. He doesn't smell that. His nose is gone, son. Looks like he's about to break out in a song in a musical. This movie is pretty slow. Like The swamp is alive with the sound of mercenaries. I know what. Really, you're worried about a ghost after you saw a goddamn swamp thing tear your car apart and throw the roof of it 30 feet in the air? <laughs> yeah, the old... yeah. Look out for the ghosts. He's all, don't worry about it's the ghosts. <laughs> ghost. Worry about the ghost of swamp thing. What is it? It's a. It's a... Swamping. What was he going to do? Oh, they won't see him now. <laughs> Swamp Thing hates Jude because Jude is the ultimate cock block right now for him. I'm going to draw first blood. All Swamp Thing wanted to do was see his Vietnam buddies until that chicken shit cop showed up and he decided to push it. Now Swamp oh, Guts got to take on the entire mercenary army. Where's Born on the Bayou at? Swamp Thing, you don't got to sneak up on him. You're obviously bulletproof. You've proved it. And you can right. punch through cars and jeeps. Oh my god. Oh, the suit fell off of him. Oh, never mind. That was a weird cut. That was a weird cut, because it, it looked like Swamp Thing was popping back up. It looked up. like he did, right? It looks like a mannequin. The same place he's been the whole time. <laughs> That's a straight out of Dukes of Hazard cut right there. Where's he at? He's still in that same spot by the creek. 
He's going to stun them with grenades. He's going to stun them with grenades. They were told to bring him back alive. <laughs> this guy didn't get the bullet points of the discussion with his evil boss. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> it was a 10-point plan. Why does it look like the bullets are coming, like the, the bullet marks are pointing out instead of in every time they show them? This is worse than Iron Man uh, 3. Swamp Thing's just running around getting his ass kicked the entire film. By some of the worst mercenaries ever. Yeah, these guys don't know where they're throwing these grenades. I think I got him. (laughs) This is seriously like Man of Steel. Like when Superman first gets his powers, he's just worthless. He's just getting his ass kicked throughout the entire movie. Swamp thing, more like swamp nothing. They should have. I think Swamp Thing is part of DC Comics, isn't it? Yes, yes. They could have. Why didn't he make it to the Justice League? I don't know, man. <laughs> what? Well, it's probably the same reason. Uh, oh, they let Aquaman in. All he does is talk to fish. He could be in Teen Titans. Teen Titans have Go. You, have you seen that Family Guy episode uh, where about Aquaman being out in the water and that girl's getting attacked? Yes, and I saw the thing where he, on a Family Guy where he's like trying to sell himself. He's like, they're like, all you do is talk to fish. <laughs> well, like, he's like, oh, oh, if you were out in the water, oh, yeah, I, I would get you. Those mercenaries is- really shouldn't have rigged their boat with explosives before, you know, beforehand. They blew up the scene. Did you see that? It exploded. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the evil evil guy camp, it would be beautiful if he had that leather chair with him on that boat. <laughs> He's working on his 1940s uh, muscle but not muscle build there, you know? It's like you can't tell if they're buff or not. I can answer the question. He's not. <laughs> Everybody got his shirt off. <laughs> There's like no explanation there. Wes Craven just thought he had an immaculate build. I swear, 50% of this movie is her in a boat. Or her running around the swamp or like that guy sitting in his chair or swamp thing emoting sadness or getting his ass kicked or just getting his ass whooped oh man i know one day we're gonna have to watch return of swamp thing i'm just glad it wasn't a double feature josh take a look at that scene look around see all those branches and the in the the foresty stuff there's people hidden everywhere. Yeah, they're all over. You just don't see them. It's, they're, they're cloaking. They have, like, cloaking devices because they have branches on their hats. You just can't just see them. Just a branch. <laughs> yeah, those are all, that's all the militia right there. He's behind you. Why are you. What are you doing? Who are you talking to? Jude, I told you the only thing you can do for me is roam me around. What the hell? They killed Jude? I guess they did. They killed a kid, huh? They they straight up killed Jude off screen. Now Save, the story. What? Now the story is screwed, Josh. Oh, wait, why did they need to edit scene of him walking like five paces? I swear it wasn't me this time. I swear. You kill one kid. What is what has he got right there? A book? What was that square thing on his chest? That was his uh, power morpher. Dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus, Swamp Thing. Well, the good news is, Jude, I brought you back from your death of the bullet to the brain. The bad news is, you're still missing two thirds of your brain. <laughs> Jude, I brought you back to life 
but that's great. But the bad thing is you're still blind as a fucking bat. Sorry, I could have healed that and I didn't. Oh my god, what are you? Were you in a plane crash? It smells like shit. Where did you put it first? You ever seen the movie Pulp Fiction Swamp Thing? <laughs> well, she's going on a on a swap tour. That guy's drinking out of a Bunsen beaker. <laughs> <laughs> they just stole everything from the internet earlier. Yeah. The lab. Luckily, when they had those Bunsen beakers, we could drink our wine out of. Where's his bandana at? I don't even. He does. I, he does. I, I don't even know who he is. It's almost like looking in a mirror. They both have the exact same hairdo. <laughs> Okay. She just goes around kissing everybody in the swamp, huh? Oh, she killed him. What kind of dive was that? That was like that a belly flop. <laughs> yeah, that looked like when you throw someone overboard. These cuts that, are nice something cut. else. These edits are so bad. It's like a 1940s uh, serial movie. You know, like the kind you'd have to watch in the theater. And then uh, you go like, back the next week. Yeah, it's like got those kind of edits to it. Dude, he's running around swinging that machete pretty recklessly. Marbles in his mouth. <clears throat> Whoa! His arm got cut the fuck off. Yeah, he can take bullet bullet shots and stuff, but he can't take a machete. My only weakness. You about knocked yourself out on his shoe. Man, Don't shoot, thing. I'm an unarmed man. The Swamp Thing has had a rough, rough last couple days here, Josh. He was on fire for like 20 minutes straight. He, he had like firecrackers and shit popping out of his ass for like 10 minutes in the swamp as he's dying. His fingernails are losing... Uh, the thickness, <laughs> they're turning, they're just slowly morphing into normal skin. He's getting his, uh, ass kicked constantly by the, the leaf hat brigade. These guys look like they're on a riverboat, casino, gambling boat. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got no when to hold them. Exactly. No they look like, to fold them. Yeah, they look like they're just floating down the river, playing, playing some cards. No wind to walk away. No wind to swamp thing. Flowers you know. for you, cable. Please don't make me talk. They didn't make the mouth hole good enough. Did Christian Bale do the voiceover work for this film? I can see his real lips moving beneath the latex lips. <laughs> Don't mind my two sets of lips. Like on Ninja Turtles when Donatello opens his mouth next to April and you can see the puppeteer's head yes. inside Donatello's That's so mouth. so terrifying. That is terrifying. <laughs> I hear they're making another turtle movie, but they're going to make it a... a Follow up to part two from back then. For real? With that style of costumes and shit, yeah. So they're not, are they just going to pretend like the Turtles 3 never happened? Yeah. Oh man, that would just be lovely. They're going to have to remake the suits though because they're all like rotten and stuff now. Okay, <laughs> yeah. please swap things. Stop laughing. It's terrifying. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god, I'm never going to sleep again. Stop it! Swamp Thing probably While just smel smells like absolute shit. Well, you are crazy, but 
It's not a dream. I keep seeing his lips inside the lips, and it's just throwing me for a loop. All they can afford, yes. They the makeup he has on looks like the skeleton piece and the paint you'd buy from any uh, like Walmart or Kmart or Fred Meyers, and they just did a good job with it because <laughs> it doesn't move at all. Are we going to talk about his arm? Because that is fucked up. Is that does, okay? Does he have regenerate regenerative properties? Because his arm's gone. I didn't know he could bring children back from the dead, so who knows? Who knows? Dude, he should just stuff and, and not some fix branches. their eyesight. He should just stuff some branches in that nub of his, and he's called a day. Oh, and here comes the part everybody remembers and loves. Totally unnecessary shot here. Who? Unnecessary for who? Well, just this. How does this move the plot forward? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe without the moves, he wouldn't find the strength he had all along to... Oh, he grew whenever he saw her, and that's how the arm came back. <laughs> his, sw his swamp cock grows out of his nub. So what do you want me to do out here, uh, Wes? Uh, just boobies. Just, yeah, just frolic. Clean yourself with the water with no soap. So he's a pervert. Man, he's up there him. getting he's getting real wood. Well, at least the day is turning around for Swamp Thing. What is is what he what is he embarrassed now? Booby. Well we know he's not touching himself because he's holding the book with the only arm he's got. Yeah, I was gonna say we know he's not touching himself because he doesn't have an arm. Yeah, I'll go back and watch a little more. <laughs> <laughs> she almost died to get him that book, and he's just throwing it away. Well, put my clothes back on. What a dick. I'm she almost nice died. clean from all that murky swamp water. Dude, Josh, Judd died for that book, to get him that book, and that's the I thanks. Know, he that, throws it. Yeah, that's the thanks it's he like, gets. It's like the book in... Uh, uh, Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys. The ones that they've been guarding with their life. It's just laying out on yeah. the table. Yeah. God, can these guys please just stop showing up? This is like the fifth time. No, he's the Nelly Commandos. Oh, no. Yeah. One weakness. Nets. And ropes. And gangbangs. What, this isn't a gangbang? There's be. no way they. There's no way they'd be able to hold him down if he's is so strong he can punch a jeep in half. Come on. Why does that guy holding her? He was in there earlier. He always has this look on his face like he's just defeated. The makeup department. Ah, uh, yes, this book must be very important since he threw it away. Found it in a mud puddle. <laughs> Those transitions, man. Oh, my God. What is this? What, why, why does it look like a Batman or Green Hornet episode? Meanwhile, back at Wayne Manor. Yeah, it's Dick stately is Wayne really Manor. really letting the hell... Let's go. Meanwhile, back at Wayne Manor, Dick is earning his namesake. This seems like the obvious follow-up to everything that's happened in the movie to this point. Man, that guy's just going for it right there, huh? Just in case Adrian Barbeau's tits aren't enough. Well, good Let's for have Fidel some Castro. Really nasty mercenary dude squeezing a set of jugs. It's good shit. Just roll it. 
What about kind of an ugly chick doing like a belly dance? Sure, throw it in there. Show her tits too. Fuck it. Wes Craven really has had some hit and misses other than Nightmare on Elm Street. So six tits total? Six. Six will do. That's not a bad gig for the guy, the cocktail server right there. He's got some stuff to look at. Cocktail <laughs> server. Tips and boobies. is like, whatever. It's a good job. It's a living. I want to know what they were talking about, man. That was so funny. I know. I don't think I've laughed that hard ever in my life. No. So he went through the trouble of dressing her up just to truss her up in a chair. This must not be a very important dinner because he's not sitting in his leather chair. Right. This is just kind of a semi-important dinner. Their friend Ferret. Is that well, the thing they, that was being drowned in the beginning? At least they left him an apple and some grapes and his hand gun. We need two more tits. Just, uh, use that one guy that's been in the movie The Mercenary. Show his nipples. Get them good and hard for the scene. That painting in the background reminds me of the Vigo painting in Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> it's a, it's a me. Why. It's a Vigo. It's a swamp thing. Did that guy in the tight right there, did he have a nice guy to, you know, keep his nipples hard like that? Well, the guy who was in charge of Adrian Barbeau's nipples took his job uh, way too seriously and decided to spread the love to other characters in the film. I mean, those nipples are, like, unavoidable. It's like, it, it's... He doesn't even need okay, a steak dude. knife. He can use his nipples to cut his steak with. They're about to poke a hole through that shirt. Swamp thing versus nipples. I'm going to fuck a plant. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to try that formula on a plant. I am going to fuck Swamp Thing. <laughs> In the arm, stub. Stump. Wait a minute. He's going to take the first dose of Swamp Thing. <laughs> we must make Swamp Thing ejaculate, and then I will drink his essence. They, they fed it to that guy. Now his nipples are going to, like, mutate. It's Nipple Thing versus Swamp Thing. Wait a minute, so he just fed him some of the stuff? The mutagen. What a dick. The ultimate roofie. That's why his nipples were so hard. It's an aphrodisiac, too. That guy who looked like Charlie Manson's like, whoa, man, that's not cool, man. Okay, I don't mind doing this scene and, and flailing around like a madman, but you've got to make sure my nipples stay hard the whole time. They're not even they're not even like sickened by his face, it's the nipples. Man, he's got like the worst case of swamp thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait, it turned him into a little person? What, what, what is going happened? on here? Alex, what just happened? He just turned into a ghoulie. What just happened? Where where did so the mutagen not only shrank him but shrank his clothing? It it mutated the clothing and it shrunk with some, his body. Hey, that is some good <laughs> shit. <laughs> Need to lose some weight. <laughs> the swap thing diet. God, Wes Craven's direction for this guy is like just sit with your leg crossed and <laughs> act like you're rolling up a booger at all times. Uh, where's the, where, did y'all finish that suit for the monster? No, all we have is the prototype we showed you, the small version. Oh, uh, we're out of time. Yeah, we're done. That's a wrap. Rewrite, rewrite. Okay, it's just gonna, he's just gonna turn into a little person. Come back here right now! I'm sore so, with you. 
That's the most hair Bruno's had in the last 10 years, though. So things aren't all bad. But it had his clothes strength, though. I don't... Uh, he washed it. He washed it on hot, obviously. As he was mutating. Yeah. <laughs> Should have been warm, cold. Oh, I can tell you or pay. Here, I got money. I'll just pay you. I didn't know that was an option, but since that's an option, if that's what ends all this, is money. I. I how much you want the check for? This uh, the swamp thing is actually a distant cousin of the Grinch who stole Christmas. The, the Grinch swamp. who stole an hour and a half of Alex and Josh's time. Yeah, the swamp is actually right next to Whoville. Horton hears a box office bomb. Gosh, Horton hears a dud. Don't mind my second set of lips. So, wait a second. So, they have two cases, right, of, of what it amplifies. And he and Swamp Thing is just a, a, a master of it by now. They've got two case samples. Yes. Okay. A dwarf. He was actually a dwarf the whole time. I'm nodding, yes, I know you can't tell, but that's, yeah. I've somehow twisted the mouthpiece of my cow. You know that this guy means business when he's actually standing in a scene. <laughs> or wearing a shirt. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to go right back to sitting down. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Nobody has a flashlight. Nobody, they just have torches. What about me? Shut up, you. Gable, Alec, Tivo. Because he said Cable, you know. What about me down here? The little mutant. <laughs> that looks like the world's most uncomfortable couch ever. He's like, fuck the couch. I've got my chair. Where is it? This house is dangerous, man. Like, they have no actual, like, well, there's one real bulb. Everything else is torches and candlelight. When I was a kid, I used to love watching the Swamp Thing TV series on USA. It was live action. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I watched that. It was actually fun. The cartoon only had, like, 13 episodes. I never really cared for it. That was in the same vein as, like, Toxic, Toxic Avenger, Street Sharks. Uh, that realm. I, I was a Ninja Turtle guy. It was just a uh, 30 minute toy commercials. That's why they only did like 13 episodes of a lot of those shows. Turtles was, a, was an event. They had like seven seasons. Oh, I love that, that fake backdrop over there. The picture. All I see is branches behind him. Those are actually guys that, that have the drop on him right now that are working with Swamp Thing. I always like to be outside in the morning to have my glass of uh, antifreeze. Is he the drinking the formula right now? The waking up is antifreeze in your gut. <laughs> is he drinking it right now, Josh? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah he drank it. He thinks he's going to become some super smart mutant. <clears throat> No, don't tell Karen. She's going to ask for the manager. <laughs> don't do it. Just leave Karen out of it. 
Joke of the night. I mean, that's the first time you've seen the boss ask for a Karen. So that looked like stock, the other way around. That little that little light coming through the trees looked like stock footage from a National Geographic special. The swamp thing in his natural setting, with the bare-chested Barbosa nearby. Her arms are probably asleep by now. There's no way those aren't tingling. You'll soon hear the mating call of the bare-chested Barbos. Barbo. Alec, Alec, she entices him with her mating call. The bare-chested Barbo and the Swamp Thing in their natural setting. Man, some some dictionary and uh, encyclopedia salesman made a mint showing up at that house. He's got every one of them, man. <laughs> we could only afford A through C at my house. He's in his, he's in his chair. You think he's got like the, the 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 cushion of that like perfectly to his butt? I don't know. What is he, yeah. Oh yeah. His, his ass. It's like setting in a really worn in baseball glove. That's some pretty cool effects. You ever you ever had your eyes closed and you feel like, and it, you have that uh, um, Alice in Wonderland thing where it feels like your hands are bigger than they are and shit? Uh, no. I think that you're describing acid. No, it's a it's a real thing. That's what he's physically going through right there. Uh, J- Jason Voorhees as a boy. Wait, was that the was that the little guy? Okay, so that's the main bad guy. Okay. Yes. I thought that yes. was the dwarf. Well, this sucks because he, he just melted that acid all over his chair. Oh, get his other arm back. Jeans. Get his other arm back here, Josh. <laughs> you have like a little arm like Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> he turned into bullshit man from Cinemassacre. Jeez. You know what's bullshit? <laughs> no, he turned into Lady Gaga's meat dress. Wait, wait, wait. Is he Grammys. a fucking bear? Is he a bear? At least he didn't turn into just a really hairy gay man. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying at least he's a bear. A real bear. No, Swamp Thing Superman is Superman music. Swamp Thing is the bear, and this guy is the one who likes the bears. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is the I prototype can't... for Freddy versus Jason years and years before. Search the bowels of hell. Oh my god, I know who that is. It's oh. Man Bear Pig. <laughs> yeah, because he's pissed because Al Gore said he invented the internet, but ne- but we actually know who did. I know, and here it is. It's come full circle. He's half man, half bear, half pig. It's a man bear pig. He's real. I was he looks surreal. He looks like Grizzlor from Masters of the Universe. But he needs a sword. Okay, I know he's a monster, but does he have to look around? He lives there. He knows where the hallways lead. What, you knew a way out of here the whole time? What a selfish dick with that pertinent information. They had that there in case a guard ever got locked in by mistake. Okay, if you're locking your guards up by mistake, you need you're, you're not good at your job, okay? I thought he was a prisoner, man. It, it happens more often than you think. It probably but does. They, they the leader's pretty, poisoning they them. They fail safe. Right? And the world is flat. 
You'll have to trust me or you won't survive. The world is flat. You trust me. I'm going to give you that one. He just said, have a nice trip. See you in the fall. Yep. The next joke he's going to say is, uh, you're just like school in the summertime. No class. <laughs> and another the dynamite Grinch transition. Boggy swamp. Oh, oh, here's the shot from the, from the art and everything for the movie. <clears throat> so is she still getting paid? Swamp thing, you have to hurry. There's only. Hey, man. Josh. Josh, is she still on the clock? Like, is she still being paid for this assignment? <laughs> Her tits are put away, so probably not. Okay. <clears throat> Bam. Hips low, drove through. That's an excellent form tackle. Bam, pow. The unblinking eyes of Man Bear Pig. Uh, okay, here's the deal. If Swamp Thing gets hit with this sword, he lost his arm to a machete. He gets hit with this <laughs> sword, he's dead. Oh, he's fucked. Ganon chasing Link. Oh, you stabbed dead. my tit! Are you crazy? Who will watch the movie now? I'm sorry, I can't save you. You're not a young teenager. This is what happens yeah, to you would. when you don't pay Swamp Thing back. He loaned money uh, to that guy, and he owed Swamp Thing a debt, and the guy didn't pay. You get clubbed to death. That's what happens. Where's my money, man? Where's my money? <laughs> Where's my money, man bear pig? <laughs> Where's my money, man bear pig? Where's that? I need it back. I'm super serial. Swamp Thing... The only way you're going to be able to heal her is by motorboating her. <laughs> Starts glowing. <laughs> he let her die? I'm going to stuff these pubes in her mouth. <laughs> oh. So, wait, if his hand is what's glowing, why did he need the poultice from his body? I don't know. So many rules. Is my tit okay? Is my acting career going to be okay? Will I always look this pretty? Should I do Jack Frost? No, you're Maybe actually heading... The killer snowman. You're heading straight to Creep Show, and you're going to be eaten by a fucking monster in a crate. Hey, she was on Creep Show, the TV show, too. The other, uh, yeah, and she's yeah. really old. She did not age well. She was uh, Jack Frost about the killer snowman. How'd she look in that? About the same as she does in the creep show TV show. <laughs> and that was like 1987. Damn. It's time for a pig roast. So, okay. This guy, Man Bear Pig, was the evil guy who'd been trying to get Swamp Thing the entire film... It's a total bad guy in the entire movie, and this is how he ends. Just dead real qu real quick. Yes. How anticlimactic. Here comes Arthur to pull the sword from the pig. Not one of Wes's finest films. This is a shocker level, or kids under the stairs level. He film. goes to try to close the eyes of Man Bear Pig, and they... It's, oh, wait, there's... Okay, never mind. I'm going to carry you from there to three feet over here for reasons. Swamp Thing just like the intimacy of carrying you, Adrian Barbeau. The cut that was never shown on film isn't there. I 
I'm going to do some. Oh, wait, what was that? There's men behind those trees. Don't you see them? I've got to go scream into the sky for no reason. These used to be big, strong hands. Pretty please. Okay, you talked me into it. And make a shitty movie about it. No, you don't need to tell the story to anybody. What'd you say? I can't hear you. You always eat to what? You always eat to what? Thing? Mr. Thing? Hey, Jude! Did you bring a cup, uh, Jude? I'm famished. <laughs> Were you in a plane crash, Jude? Yeah. Where you been, Jude? You in a plane crash? That would be the only realistic explanation for why I haven't seen you in a while. You were in a plane crash. I, ha I brought him a Coke. He forgot it. He's coming back. Yeah. I brought him a Coke and a smile. He'll be back. One of us gets killed. He is walking really fucking slow. Moved like one foot since the last time they... It's He's like, well, hey, Alec, what's wrong? You just stopped moving, and you are you okay? He's what happened, walking, Alec? He's walking slow, like so slow that, like, when someone's upset with somebody, but they want you to follow him. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Right. It's okay. Swamp six say it's okay. Don't follow. Swamp I guess she's thing. not gonna. She's not gonna ask Swamp Thing to come back. I guess. Man, they have. <laughs> no. They had a Damn. first assistant director and a second assistant director for this thing. <laughs> wow. Somebody had to assist the first assistant. You know, actually, Jude and uh, Cable are moving perfectly fine right now. And he's just, they're like, is he okay? Alec? Alec. You're not moving, man. Production it's like, it's aid. Like just stuck. So, is he going to build a house out there? What, what's the situation out there for him? Where, where's he going? I don't know, but there's one of the Hendersons. Didn't you say that they're going to have a crossover? Is oh, yeah. Swamp Thing and the Hendersons. Hey, Paul Simon. Oh, Paul Simmons. My bad. Yeah. Not so fast, my friend. <laughs> Dave Dockendorf. Oh, my God. I love that name. Dave Dockendorf. That one, Sound uh, effects. Created by Jay's Meat and Provision Company. <laughs> what? That makes perfect sense. What? That makes perfect sense. It, it all makes sense now. Radio Shack. A Tandy what, Company. This movie would have never been uh, possible without the fine folks at Radio Shack. Filmed on location. South Cackalac. South Cackalac. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, let's. Uh, we made it through the movie. Let's get back. Uh, maybe Master Evil will get rid of that clown for you. You ready? That would, that'd be lovely. Let's go. Let's let's exit. Right, let's go. Oh, you survived. Unfortunate. Not that bad. Well, I guess I'm going to have to keep my word to Alex. So the yeah. rodeo clown can go bye-bye. He's still there, Alex? Yeah, Master Evil's full of crap. The The rodeo clown is still very much here and still very much bugging the living piss out of me. Oh, okay, oh, all right, come on, clown. You're done. Oh, Let's go. Oh, come on. Wait, wait, Alex, oh, oh, Alex, can I see Just me? the clown? Are you going to make him take his barrel and shit with him? Uh, he can take his barrel full of shit. Uh, whatever, just roll it. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, Alex, can I, can I say one more thing? I think you've said enough, uh, but yeah, sure. Go ahead. And now the end is near. 
And so I face the final curtain, my friend. I'll make it clear, I'll stand in my case, of which I'm certain. Yeah. I've lived a life that's fun. I've told each and every humble more, more than this I did it my way That's enough. That's enough. I've yeah, enough. yeah. That is enough, man. You made a clown sad. You made a rodeo clown sad. I think he brought it on himself a little bit, but uh, I'm willing to overlook a few things now. I've, I think I've changed my mind. You're letting him stay? I, I don't really see how I can make him go after such a beautiful rendition of uh, My Way. I'm in tears here. Okay, oh. yeah! Now let's go play some Monopoly! Oh, oh boy. boy. I didn't come all this way to go home empty. You know what? I want to be... I want to torture somebody. You know what? I'm going to pick the next movie. Okay, yes, you do that. Halloween Resurrection, and it's going to be on Halloween. I'm Great. Out. <laughs> so we get to watch the shittiest Halloween movie on Halloween. Great. I'd rather watch Jacko again on Halloween. Can't we just Jacko watch Jacko the second year? <laughs> Jacko Origins. Jacko <laughs> starring Michael Jackson. <laughs> Anything. Jack, Jacko with special guest star Buster <laughs> Rocky. Did I include Goalies 4? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop. Stop. You're going to dehypnotize us, man. I know what you did. I watched the old episode. I figured it out. Stop it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to see you guys on Halloween with Halloween Resurrection. You're out there with Mother Evil killing FedEx people for some reason. I guess UPS is okay. And you're going to be playing uh, like some kind of weird Monopoly with the Rodeo Clown. So uh, I think everybody's uh, schedule's full. We're going to be counting down the days to Halloween, Halloween together. So it'll maybe be all right. He, maybe he can sing you some more Sinatra. That was beautiful. He should have did it before because I had a lot of anger and hostility towards that guy uh, built up. And he changed it all in one song. It was it was powerful. It was powerful rodeo magic, rodeo clown magic. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, so be ready on Halloween for the next last track. I will see you there. <laughs> He's lost his mind, Josh. He's totally out of his gourd. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close it. Yeah, bye. Okay, and the end is near. Oh, it's all I face. The final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear. I'll stain my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full. I traveled each and every highway, and more, much more than this. I did it my way. <clears throat> Regrets, oh, I've had a few. But then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do and saw it through. Without exemption, I planned each charted course, each careful step along the byway, and more, much more than this, I did it my way. Yes, 